Here we because go, the baby. The battle bus has gone off, and we're ready to roll into game one. Oh, that's sick. Are we just missing a square, or is there just a blank the seat? FNCS Global Championship Game Number Island One. Island gives points, chat. 65 right points for a now. win. Each Elam is there four. Is the, the island flag now is 15, and the towers and really are three. To the world and see who will be able to put up all oh, of the numbers. Oh, are we actually going to fight? Is King and Phaser and Cal going to fight? Let's watch it. We get to start things off here, of course, with King and Kamer. Are they actually? And keep Wait, he in just called mind. Phaser Kame. We heard a little bit in the pre. Game interviews, King, Cal Gamer. Neither side particularly scared of the other. We're playing the best, but Thomas, Thomas goes down. Kanata. Dignitas Khan. Who's going to find the first? One v one. One v one against Malabuka. It's a trade on both sides. One v one versus Malabuka. Kami goes down. Kami just went down to stain. Wait here or go ahead. Kami and City gonna. Kami and City are out. Game one. Singular build. He goes. They just go beam. And now Kanata's going for the push. Oh my god. Things are gonna slow down. He's gonna come down to everything. He gets the first tag. They both look the so nervous, here? bro. They both He's on. One more tag. And no. Kanata fall. No. That might be the top. worst Malibuka I've ever seen Malabuka like, and Kanata play. What have just I just yet. watched? We're gonna just here. we're gonna chalk that up to Lanjin's chat massive. because that was just what? Band providing just what? enough coverage away. They both played this so terribly. Wow. Okay, so I believe Kami City down. And you can see Dukes that and is Edgy down. Simple tactics. Kanata ages down. A little bit of high ground all of a sudden. The leverage. Holy crap! What a start. Onto the other side. Towards some of those rotations. What's wrong with the camera? They're not showing the right people. The camera's been wrong every single Talk time. Who they show? Wait, Acorn Cold. They're moving out. And that's very. Their elimination. They're hey, we're the same org. We got it. We got the right the org. Fuck yeah, we're getting closer. Same region, yet, same so org. We're almost there. Really getting greedy with the opportunity put in front of them, but instead, twelve splashes though for Acorn. Look at this loadout. Wait, so games, they have one right? Elim? Did they take down Vico or Pink? And all of a sudden, you're really set up. They must have taken down Vico or Pink. That's huge for Acorn and Cold. If they can get a massive game on the board here, that's so big for them being cons. I mean, just think about the amount of sheer splashes. That they took down Mappy, so they pushed in so onto the onto the work with onto the trailer amount. park. They can definitely take their time. So they killed Mappy. So wait, is Ocus not dead on spawn? Ocus is the goat, bro. With Thoric. Meanwhile, <laughs> rises everyone. To see out rises everyone. That might be left over, splitting there with bolts. <laughs> Seems to have. <laughs> they really like Rise. Maybe looking over towards one of these. <laughs> I want to just show maybe someone from the crowd now. Just, just lean into it and just get a shot of well. someone in the crowd and just be like, yo. Some ideas early on. Forecast Tower is definitely extremely powerful. It's going to be one of the best. Kami and Vanyak. I can't believe Kami and Seti went down on spawn. That is extremely concerning for this weekend. Because Kami and Seti are getting conned by Thatch and Pam's due tomorrow too. Not too surprising though to see teams. If they don't make it out today. Possible here. They're just gonna have to make Vanya. every game count when they make it off spawn. Definitely. Sphinx, look at the material count here. This is a desperate plea. Hey, what a must have seen yet. He can replenish, so coming into the mega city comes with its 43. own. 43. Oh, Mero goes down. 43 teams. Material is gonna be the name of the game for them. Thomas and Malibu are gonna get the 15 the points Malibuka game one. This Thomas is huge. HD. Thomas Malibuka trying a to call huge, in a single game, bro. Game here, you, course, this is massive. This. Gabza goes down to Worthy. So OC points. boy's holding up well right now. You are the first to Rift Island to go ahead and convert. And it definitely seems as though Malibuka and Thomas This is huge. So if, the, if, if you guys don't know, the, the sure island flag gives 15 are, points in competitive right now. Then we'll have a chance to catch up in time. That's just under four eliminations worth of Malibuka, points Thomas, and two slurps. Still holding down the capture point. And other trades happening there too. Seven. No, could you say they have 25 observers in the game? And Sima, I'm sure You've got to be kidding me. As well. So Middle East finding their success tier two. Let's jump on over to Miro. Miro, who picked up Ocus yes. oh just my a bit ago. God. That's going to be the single Elam in the that pocket there. That is so there. bad. And a long, long So, Chad, if you guys don't know, I had Knock and Run the, the stats because I always had a theory see. that observers create way more server lag. You observers are basically Miro. the people who are controlling the cameras I'm right now that we see. And because they have to load up the data of every single player in the lobby and send it to every single one of them at all times across the entire map, it massively increases the server lag. And there's 25 of them. Ocus goes down. On the likes of Miro and Cooper. Damn. Just a synchronized that attack that is way too problematic for any soul to deal with. 
Booga's still Elite going, bro. My goat. 172 there. below, though. Booga's in a very tough We're off to a rough start for the dig win, chat. Acorn and Cold have got to clutch it for the uh, merch giveaway. Continues to mount on top of his shoulders here. Zero mat below Already surge, no now. white heels. This is an all or nothing situation Booga get in, here. The happening nearby. Come on, Booga. If anyone can do this, it's Booga. Come on. He has to get into this one. This is truly all or nothing, but no. Bound, and he makes his way through the wow. builds there. And Alex crushed. and Worthy in a beautiful spot. This is a moment. Full water zone, game Thomas. one. Looking to see is game one of the biggest tournaments since to World Cup, and it's a full water layer, zone. As far as Mustache and Payson are concerned, they know they've got teams surrounding them every Mustache which and Payson, way. Right beautiful now, loadouts. Trillex and Chicho right on the front side as well. Copa getting hit by Surge on the back side. Some of the water that's just on the side of this. Queasy and Venno could win game one here. They got the loadout for it. This is bingo board for the water zone. Yeah, we'll check the bingo board after this game chat. Meanwhile, Queasy and Vino. Some of EU's best Ooh, on the move right beautiful now. Beautiful crash that pad rotate. Nice. They're going to take right front now. side. Oh, front side. Hi, Queasy and Venno. On the high game one, bro. The Whispers came out. The Queasy and Venno are watched. They didn't make grand last season. Everyone was talking smack. And they're going straight back to what they know best. Oh, but Venno gets hit hard. Might not play out for them. Venno gets hard. Queasy does have the slurp. He's just used up so many builds. I hope Venno's got some extra mats. King, meanwhile. On the opposite end of the spectrum, as a solo forced into the water. Oh, King's, oh this is going to be really lucky if he can swim this whole rotate. He doesn't encounter anybody else anytime soon, but it's going to be mixing off to his side. Not able to connect Ooh. the shot. He swims directly underneath the duo. <laughs> and it's going to be an opportunity for, for Strokey to possibly what get knocked. What is going no, on, no, it's bro? Be King under pressure, and it's too much. The <laughs> yeah, the comps come out. They say, wait. There's someone under here. Venno and Queasy still on the high ground. Acorn no cold front side. There was Pastrokey and Kylie just coming on in, getting the full finish there. Here's Pars and Baka. Six Baca. aliens so for Baka and Pars. Wolf Cond on spawn. They are doing it again. They did it at the Come on, let's see if more region pop off here too. I think I see Alex and Worthy so in this. Far, remember, this is going to be arguably the most difficult bracket to fight your way out of. It is, of course, the 50 best that played through their respective times of those seasons. Oh, Mustache and Taste is still year. looking so but stacked. Look up, it's Queasy, it's Venno. They get chopped oh, up mustache and mustache by and Queasy, Venno, game one. Still Alex still going. Not seeming to deter them from oh, maintaining control. Oh, that's the breach. That's Queasy. That's Queasy. Now, hoping Price that goes this legendary down. Slurp Juice is going to buy him enough time to get out of this difficult position that he's landed into. Oh, Nate Cole, what can we do? Cold, meanwhile, backside oh, of the zone, looking trying laggy. to charge his way forward. Looking to nice. stay Acorn as Cold making a front side though. It's not affecting them. They're playing well. As things continue to move, you can expect all these other duos King, goes, King finally goes soon. down to Kylie. Alex, Alex goes down. Still a good a first game for OC. Meanwhile, high ground goes for Mustache a fight here. Mustache and Tasten versus Queasy Venno. Trying to take it all away. They take down OCE's power. Alex Malibuka as well goes down. There. So Malibuka big, big was looking for high ground him, too. All the AU big boys going at it, bro. They give it down. Queasy puts up the fight against Tasten and puts him down as well. No material left. The oh no, team, Queasy Venno a shambles. Very tough spot to be Three in, Elims, top it's seven. It's all or nothing now. The end game is already theirs. This is surely a successful Ray's run. Ray's still going too. Ray. Ray is still up too. Ray Rizzle three Elims. Just barely enough builds to actually connect it to the hill. Oh, Rizzle jumps in with 160. the 160. It's Acorn. It's NA versus NA and Ray and Rizzle. Everything in his power here gets the elimination onto Acorn. It looks as though Queasy may have fallen as well. What a big trade here. Wait, who's the duo? Just a players left now. This Kylie. is it, Vino. Kylie might be winning here, it. but he does have builds. The Kylie is possible. Stroke, the only He's duo. also one of the healthiest here on the lobby. Fastroki doesn't have much to work oh, with. Fastroki can't, can't get up, bro. They're all stuck. They're going to die. So is Venno win this? Whether or not Venno wins the heal off. does. Venno's going to steal this. Find Fastroki in the finish. And Vino. Queasy and Venno. Game one win. Damn. Six Elim win. It is too easy for them. Oh my god. They're still so good. In game number one, we will have to see what will happen with Kanata on the drop here alongside Aegis. Aegis put up the numbers, but here it is. Do a harder one, bro. I thought that was pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of stuff on the screen there. <laughs> And just like that, we are right back in it with match number two of day one. Yo, suck. Thanks to Tale for Six, bro. The bracket of the global Game two, baby. And All right, just Cammy and City go down, chat. You were just starting to touch on it, but some of these initial 50 <laughs> Just like that, that we're back in the Drake game. Bridge. Just Not like that, Monster. <laughs> he always says just like that. Expected. Here we go. And crazy. Can Look the hero this, killer the do it two games in a row? Stain. Stain. 
Really oh, Davis. To play upset oh. Here. Seti. Oh. Why doesn't land oh no. Cammy gets the gun, though. Cammy gets, gets the gun, baby. Exactly what he needs to. Staying get down. Finish, Siphon. Oh my god, it's such well. a beautiful side seeing him get Siphon. All in his favor right now. Here comes the pressure. Nice. Datus is, is under fire. Seti and Datus both have guns. Cammy gets beamed. Oh no. Cammy and Seti getting beamed. Wait, is he do Is Datus gonna do this? Do not 1v2 the champ. There's a shotgun. Get the shotgun. Get the shotgun. Get the pump. There's a pump above. Get the pump. Please get the pump to build as Datus. Oh my god, no, Seti, do not go down. No, 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 we're not about to, we're not about to get 1v2. We're not about to get 1v2. We are not about to get 1v2. Please go grab the pump shotgun. Please tell me you saw it. Holy shit. But it's not over yet. That is Meanwhile, way too close. Like oh my god. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of like, I love Cammy and Seti, but man, what an upset if Datus and Stain win Kylie that. Fastroke, Cammy won, I mean, Kanata won off spawn, so really? Oh, wait. Meanwhile, Phaser Dora goes down, so King and Phaser in some issues. Kanata won. Bro, there is a very Arzen real possibility Kanata and Malibuka both qualify today. And whether or not they can look for a repeat instance is all going to boil down to whether or not Baka and Pars really want to try and take a more aggressive push here. I told you, Pastroki and company might be coming yeah, on over guys. and look at this. They're here to play upset. Wait, Cammy they got the right player cam! They might have dealt with Stain and Let's Davis fucking go, Chad. W's. 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 That's actually Cammy, baby. Let's go! Pastroki, oh my god. Cammy for the Holy time shit. Cammy, though, doing a good job. Big W's, Plus, baby. We got brick. the right player cam. Going out. Took us 14 attempts, but Not man, we got there. Yet. And man, was it worth it. Now I know what Cammy looks like. Cammy. With that left side peak, bit tough. That's why they delayed? Oh, maybe. Actually, could have been, genuinely. And Open that's Fastroki. Wait, maybe that's here. actually why they delayed. Fastroki putting the pressure on. Starting to run low on ammunition here, so he will have to Wait, Kylie and Fastroki pushing out of Steamy to try to take cutting Frenzy right Field capture point. This is interesting. There, so Very interesting. It. Meanwhile, Kylie with the side angle suppressed pistol. Putting good work here. We like the angles, but... And that's Kylie. They're actually... They've actually got oh, the player cams right. Maybe angle. that's why. Can be really hitting the tag when it matters right now. That's tough for Kylie as well. I mean, he's really got to get up close and personal. That's a press pistol going to be difficult to work with in comparison to that sharp tooth. But Cammy, Wins lower bracket Shetty, tomorrow. Same time tomorrow. If you guys don't know the budge, format works, go watch that clip in chat. They are as close to each other as possible because they also want to make sure they stay in contention of this capture point, not trying to let it go for free towards Kylie and Pastroki. It seems for the time being, they have successfully managed Ooh, to push Kylie, them off Kylie, Fastroki push off. Pink and Vico so are lurking now too. As though Cammy and Seti are no, you don't get any um, points for the capture point flags, only the island Pink flag. Pink and Vico lurking nearby. They're contesting half of the split off of Acorn and Cold. Do not show now, the Slappy the Shores, slappy shores tr surge Casey trading. They're not fighting. Someone tell the observers they're not the fighting. You don't want to show this. A pick. Why are you showing this? It's literally one of the cringiest things in Comp Fortnite. Like it exists, it's real, it's a smart strategy, but it is so bordering on the line of like, like of shield oh my God. Putting they're not fighting, they're not gonna push each other. Stop showing it. The responsibility for the time being is just to establish as much surge damage control as possible. And it looks as though the Limfy tells a different story or actually a same story if your pars and bombs. I, I bet the observers just the see them being, shooting and are like, oh my God, it's a fight. Yeah, at least no longer in the lobby. Yeah, Pars Ooh. and Baka turned online now and get Damn, the Damn, Baka and Pars hunt Tini, down Misha so and Tini. full finish onto Misha and Tini. Both sent back to the lobby. Meanwhile, there is another duo lurking from above. Chubbs and Bryce looking on down, trying to see what they can do to influence this exchange here. Can Ooh, she Kylie by Shoki really making a work out of Steamy, man. By himself. Cammy down. My, oh my. That is crazy. Rough spot for Cammy and Seti, man. They got tomorrow if they don't pull it off today. I mean, realistically, they need two good games. So you can never count Cammy and Seti out, but... Could we be seeing them Very unexpected start to this tournament push. for one of the favorites it's by the far. It's the fact that Seti and Cammy wow. already had to deal with one nuance at the start of match number two. Wait, can he raise Cammy? No, nah, Cammy's going to die. Nah, he doesn't. He can't get the save. For it. So might close. make it to Cammy nah. in time, but unfortunately, the Rocket Ram speed is not enough. 44 above at least. Having the Rewoo card, though. We talked about how difficult it is. Yeah, can even be one insane game and one okay game is enough. Like. The intention it's only top Shetty 25 today. Point. Only top half the lobby. It's, it's a lot easier to make it Yo, into Olaf, that thanks end game. Thanks for team 17. You have your duo with you. 
That is right. Well, last game we saw Booga make it work as a solo with no threats. This time, Seti says, no, Queasy I'm not going to end game by myself. He's going into the first place. Reboot. Let's see if he ends up working out. Oh, inside the Queasy bush. Vino continue to farm their surge tags here. Desperately in So Queasy specifically said in the interview, they've been keeping their strat secret, which is very interesting. Enough, not for long, at least. They're recognizing the potential threat looming. Comes to rotate though. Another sniper in hand here. So Four Venos, really five Elims in sniper. game one came against Play fellow here. EU players, kind of including in Thomas and Tayson, the big boys. Do you know where I can move this? Maybe right. Taking there. his time with the approach, as you would expect. Booga down, bro. Big teams are down, bro. Booga down. Tammy down. Bro, what is happening? Oh, Suns and Anon don't get 1v2, boys. Come on. Might be able to find the double finish. Oh, Anon but and Suns needed a surge. Anon doing everything in his power to delay. But Threats also needed a surge can, as well. This storm is so problematic. Threats trying to see if he can finish the job now onto Anon. Most laggy, he bro. wants this refresh of materials oh. from both Suns and Anon. Bound to get something for his troubles at this point. Gold Sharp Tooth Bro, Threats looks composed Prime right now. To go. That right side peak. And it was nearly a miss there for Threats, but he will be able to capitalize. Yeah, nearly a miss. Yeah, I wonder why. Another Damn, like Threats, here. one of the best aimers in the world. Thousands of hours in Kovacs. Literally, if it wasn't top for of Kovacs leaderboards done. almost misses. I wonder why. Two eliminations I'm not sure what happened there. 100 HP in Siphon, and he ended with 86 health, by the way. Surely the map doesn't quite add up, so he needed a little more that we couldn't see if it was that overshield that kept him alive there. My gosh, how close that was. Oh. <laughs> well, what is going Q &D, on? Rapid here, Middle East. Two of their finest here. I don't know why some of the Time names are cut in half. Into this new zone here, long rotate to make, and it's gonna be a tough one for them. It's gonna be a Meanwhile, tough one, is it? The top five here, only three wow. remaining here in game two. For oh, Shoki good and God! And Shari. Oh my God, Chad, look away. Down there. <laughs> we didn't see anything. Look right. away. It didn't happen. Let's go back to pretending this. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Chad, I, I've, re, I've got a new so stream PC. I don't have. I don't have my soundboard. One false move, and they are. Do they play in this lag, or is this just for the viewers? Um. Seems as though they're really hoping that some of these other. Usually, teams the lag looks Elin better for the viewers than it is for the players. So. I don't know if they're doing a halfway. I don't know if they're doing a break today between game three and four. They're going to do a break on... Yeah, it's definitely this bad for the players. Yeah. Yeah, it's this bad for the players. They need to kick some of the observers. Seti is the one who's going to clutch up here when it matters. And although he may have saved Cammy, unfortunately, they got to kick some of the observers, man. It does seem like he has man. to continue to ride this one out. It was definitely Yo, worth dad it, though, joke. What the? At the end of the day, they picked so up what time is the land stock? Can you remind me again? Dad now. joke. Thank you for the 20,001 so biddies, bro. So they, I think you're memeing, but this is game two of five today. There's five games points, tomorrow, right? and then there's six games very, the next day. Early finish in game Each day, we'll be starting at 4 p.m. CST or 10 a.m. ET. It's definitely going to be steady as well, so turns being through. As a solo, thank you for the 20,001 videos, Dad Joke. I appreciate you, homie. Thanks for generosity, chat. Yeah. Man, with some of these teams so, Chad, I talked about it earlier, but I actually had. If you guys know who Asyrion is, it's ran by Nokin. So he accesses all the game files stats. and runs stats and stuff. I had him run the stats on how much observers increase lag. The people who do the broadcast, like, fly around and get these camera perspectives. And meanwhile, has for every observer, there is huge lag spikes, and there's 25 of them in this game, apparently. Big shots going out teams in the distance here. Hoping to pull because zone, so the observers can fly oh, around and access all the players instantly. The Apparently the data is being Man, sent from every Shari. single player to the observers Elin. at all time, no matter how far away they are. Definitely with the Where the way it works with players so far, interacting with each other is you only load in the data of players within your render distance at, so to reduce lag. Even with so they got to start kicking some of these observers. Like I'm the broadcast, above. obviously my bread and butter, I love watching it, but if it's at the expense of players to that level, like something has to be done. A close one there. Meanwhile, Reap finds another elimination there. Worthy, who had the high ground, gets knocked by Hero. Okay, so they must have overpeaked from I their see position. Ocus, bro. Ocus is still going. They've been taken down. That could be a, a Ocus, potential huge Ocus, swing. Ocus, could Ocus. be winning game number two so far. They are setting themselves up surely to do so. Seti rotates across. Vino and Queezy already trying to do this. Vino Queezy back already got the high ground run. again, back back bro. Here. And look, Hero is trying to make their way up, but the resistance up top is Vino and Queezy. 
If there's one thing that Queasy and Rituals takes down to threats. Do, Serene Rituals could qualify here. They've gotten the flag. They came second game one. Well, they're in second place going into game two. Serene Rituals might already be qualified here, bro. Can't count your chicks before they hatch, sort of mentality. As Kanata in the elimination feed seems to have found. Said he's still going as a solo too after he took down Pink and Vico. Seemingly Acorn and Cold still in this as well. As I'm seeing Yumi. Definitely striking back. Here's Reed Rituals. Faka Par is still alive. Damn, look at the loadout for Reed. Reed. Ritual still alive. Even this is Okus my boy. This is, is my son right, right here, so chat. In the feed. Those are a few of the NA competitors that are up. I do wonder, where is the Amzo? Is he was also inside the top 10. If teams can continue to... Payson takes down Grip A. Pacing there. Cami the goes down. Right wait, no. That went in my kill feed's buggy. Ignore the kill feed right now. Here. That's it, Rocket Ram usage Ocus out. is still going, bro. Ocus is still going. Make that 49 damage above the surge now. Halfway through material, this is a tough spot to be in. Here's the Yamzo's look. Oh, nice. Made nice loot for Yamzo. Moving all the way across. Beautifully done in clean execution Very on the rotate. Rotate He actually here. takes down Middle Eastern's hero there. So that was that second to high ground team. And now they just have to deal with Queezy and Vino. If they could do just that, they will be the kings of the top. It's almost like dealing with a final boss at this point, as far as Queasy and Venno Oh, bro, concerned, so big for Rituals, too. So oh, match, so big win on the board, maybe? Cole, Acorn though, and Cole with, with the big Acorn double refresh. Doing an excellent job taking out Sphinx Could we get a dig win here Oyo. for the first merch giveaway? It's going to clear things up for them, as far as these immediate players are concerned. Seti, though. Seti's going to play the slurp backside of zone. still kicking, despite being a solo for so long here, MDF. What a fantastic display. Is Oka still going here somewhere? get another listen in later because you know Cami and Seti are putting down the comms needed here to navigate through this game so effortlessly. Is he making still it look going? Easy. Meanwhile, on the low ground, here's Middle East. Fahad here representing four Elims right Where now. Where he goes down. Spot to be in, showing us just how good they really are. And let's again Kanata. not Oh, Kanata was up on the high ground briefly, but he drops down to low. Joining us for the upper Baka ground still here as well. Perform in the upper tier of the 50 to be here today. Kanata falls Ooh, Kanata goes down. the top 16 there. Very far push for him, but not good enough. Yamzo and Rai is just doing such a great Ocus job. gets a kill, the bro. Ocus is going crazy. The front side of the <laughs> Dude, zone. show us Ocus. Just Come on. There's no way we're just going to pretend he's not playing solo, right? To traverse Come on. Territory. As now Yamzo Dude, is Ocus actually the doing this? They haven't showed so a single second so of it. Seti, though, still There's no way he's through, still alive. Running so incredibly low, only has eight builds to make that six left to his name, hoping that he can find Ocus a just went down, anywhere. bro. He got 11th the place as a solo from the start. In the distance, Holy up. fucking Ocus. Is there a reality no where Ocus makes it to finals as a solo? He clutches up. Oh my god. Once friends, now enemies here on the stage. Big Meanwhile, points Seti for Reed. Seti's says, still going as well. For free. Oh now, my god. I'm in the lobby, down goes Harry Kiris. takes him down. And a quick Polish on Polish violence. Comes to the rescue here for his teammate. And he is the new king of hype for a second. Wait, Acorn. Acorn trying to go up for it. For NA. Wait, Acorn and Cole are the only duo. Oh no, it's Rise of the Omzo. So far, the place Rise of the Omzo exactly the only duo. Where you expect it to be. Here's the Omzo. Oh. The Omzo. They were the only duo. Here. Rise left to do it by himself. He cannot flirt. Rise has no here. health. Wait, can Acorn win this? Clutching All solo, solo battle, Acorn's baby. Four he solos. He's got that auto Maven primed and ready, but at the same time, even with the Maven auto, he's not going to be able. He's out of builds. Miss a Three builds shot. left. Who's got the meds? He Who's winning the heal off? Any HP to work with, and you consider the shield that he's missing. Rise and Acorn so flicks in. I think it was Roban. Only one build left though. Oh no, it's Hari. Has to be his oh, best. Flicky versus Acorn. Whoa. Nice one v one. Coming. NA versus Acorn NA. Can Acorn win at the siphon? Oh no, it's EU. Absolutely sorry, Hari. Clean elimination there. Still Hari on the high ground. Where Acorn, Acorn rockets Acorn up. Goes all the way up. This is a bold play. It's so many chance though. Can he make it work? No, Hari blocks himself. Hari knows he wins. He knows Acorn tick zone is not healing. He knows he wins. It's all or nothing now. One shot. We'll be in second no. place though, well played Acorn. Hari wins it. Four eliminations and a second place there. It's Shari Giras to and Hari. The second game now alongside Giras. Seti nearly playing smartly there for Sherry and Giras. But even with Seti having eliminated Giras, Sherry doing Bro, a phenomenal job. Bro, Ocus has got to be the MVP though, man. Ocus has got to be the MVP. to get into their minds. Oh, it's crazy, K-Man. We heard you make some noise. It sounds like you are ready 
for game Who's number winning three, and rituals right now. Remember, there are only five rounds of Fortnite here Steve today. And so this will subs. officially solidify the halfway mark. To start things off, though, we have to begin here at the, the venue. Looks so nice. Venue looks sick. Come on, let's see who's going to be. We've seen this go this is one one right now. This is one one on spawn. Is nearby as well. Kyrie Ooh, here. Good so weapon for Cammy. Suppressed pistols really He's solid off spawn. First, looking for the tag, and they're doing a great job. Oh. They actually have the left. Did they throw in a turret? Is that a turret? Oh, Seti has a shotgun and shields. Oh, Seti. Oh, Seti, no. Stain trying to do his best to pressure from the bottom of nice. this car. It's going to be Stain actually eliminated okay. first. A nice Cammy and Seti. team appearance there from Cammy to get the Panada goes necessary. down, though. It looks like Malibuka and Thomas are going 2 1 at racetrack. Yet again, so early on, MDN. Hey, and Coyote? We're already in game three. Yeah, this time extremely quick. They secure the elimination. 10k here. bits. If you pick Meanwhile, the day one winner, I'm going Rain Rituals then, bro. I know they're in first, but they have the easiest off spawn of the day right now. Free here. elims, free I points, free Kanata surge. Going for the flag. I'm going Rain Rituals, bro. Was taken down and eliminated by a different duo. So. Ooh, we, we haven't seen this fight break out. Middle East versus Brazil. King, King doesn't get the shot through. He will show you why he is one of the best. Let's not forget oh. what Cal Gamer had to say. He said himself that he does not believe. King has Yo, what it He thinks King is a bit overrated, but overrated. I that is crazy. We have seen what he can overrated do. Overrated is crazy. In person, we have seen what he can do in just clean head-to-heads in a box fight type environment. Down, He's... but still, Vanek and Carmi again doing a great job. Seti and Cami, here we go. Come on, Seti and Cami. They need one good game here, bro. They got to have their good game. Something. That we haven't really seen too much of at this point in the game. I also want Seti and Cami to call because Fash and Pam still going to try and drop Frenzy Fields tomorrow. The they're checking bushes. They're looking around. They're trying to see who is lingering about. They already have themselves their third elimination. And they're sitting on top of the loot. So this is a full-on refresh for someone who Rise is... Rise the down. I wonder what happened to Rise the Omzo. How'd they go down here? here? Meanwhile, looking at the top five here, Richard goes Reed down to Batman Booga. The Why is it cutting off the names as well? Chicho the takes down Booga. Booga threats are struggling. Malibuka goes down. Lobby, Muzz takes down again, Flixie. You take a win right now, I mean, you have just about done enough. It'd be hard pressed for you not to get out of the upper bracket and go straight to finals with a victory. Yeah, we're definitely starting to see a, a pretty big point disparity. Oh, no, wait. Grip Bacon from Res Flixie. Our top 10 to even our top 20 competitors. And Flixie, though, one more time. Another revive. It's going to have to go through. But this time, it's going to be Grip A turning the favor onto his teammate, Flixie. But then, then I want to see how Alex well. and Worthy are doing, bro. OC team in the top 10. Is going to be Guys are my boys. Fine for the time being, but they've still got to keep pushing forward. They still got to keep trying to move in, try and stay out of these zones wherever possible. But. Two revives into the match already, Monster. You can tell that they're definitely having some tough nah, times making these rotations. You are chilling, bro. Yeah, I know we're jumping in. Move it. I think I could. And Sorry, Dad, there is there a button. lot of overlays. I want to give a lot of credit to Baka and Pars, who go. have that might a great better. position there over the lobby right so now. So many Burns overlays, They bro. are one of the few teams <laughs> poised up for potential high ground, and they have just continued to show us what they are made of. They are now officially slipped their way into top five, really working their way up. But hold up. Come on, Taysom. We need a Taysom mustache. Big game, too, bro. Are you epic? The five? Thank you, dude. So Come on, Taysom. Get in. Taysen, other teams King and Kyrie, EU on and EU here. I'm not sure Taysom understands that there was a down body there. Bro, Bach and Paz really like that. Ooh, Rituals of Reach down and Giras and Hari. First and second Kyrie down. There it is. Seeing in time, but it's going to be too much from Taysom. Interruption on that revive now. It's Taysom and Mustache seeing if they can finish what somebody else had started. They managed to get the material refresh, the item refresh as well if they wanted. There for the taking. Taysom will swap out. Taysom and Mustache's aim there looking the really uncharacteristically pushes. bad. But Not even missing their shots, shooting in an entirely different kills, direction to where the opponent is. That is interesting. I think they're just not warmed up, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's just a land nerves, you know? Positive. You get the damage that you yeah. need. You start inching your way towards For, the I game frequently game. see we'll Taysen shooting, shooting in the completely wrong direction in online tournaments, too. There. Vino's already marked up the position they want to be in. It's that natural high ground on the backside here, the ice capsule. But again, Baka Par is looking down. Oh, Queasy and Veno making a play for high ground again. Not making it look easy at all here. He's going to have to concede for a bit. 
it's cost him a lot. He's going to have to take some of Vino's it's inventory an as well. It's an intimidation so strat. Queezy to lead the rotation. Yeah, Flake, take the T1. It's all about that middle, though, at this point for Queezy, especially when you know that you're having some pressure being applied to you from the high ground. Yeah, maybe Portugal Benjamin, but I feel like that's weird, better. though. As far as understanding, though, which way he wants to tarp Queezy, recognizing the fact that He's got his chance right now. Nice. Queasy on the high ground, up. baby. 68 Again, builds. With it being metal, it's so difficult for teams to really take a second to try and chop them out just yet. Queasy got to look for the connect onto Ooh. some of these other Ooh. builds, but dropping down ever Looking so rough. Slightly. Acorn and Cold still here, still even after taking down Vico overall, and Pink. Kami said a beautiful best. front side low ground. Laha Mixon, the other Polish boy, is following up behind Kami Seti. I drop a map. There's a chance for I drop Mappy to have a big game. This lobby. I want to fight for it as well. We need a big game here. We need it now. I can't leave Barco and Paz in fifth place. Wolkond on a terrible on split to be conned on. Like, Barco and Paz's performance today is so far the most impressive for me. Queezy will run with this. Seti and Kami are in careful. Keep in mind where their builds were starting to go towards. I mean, with the direction that Queezy's headed, at least, it almost seems like <laughs> they're going to crash that. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy. W meta. But he's going to continue to hang around. He wants that front side of the zone, but hanging just on the edge of it. And I just love how we're seeing. Kami takes down Mixon, Again, speaking of the Polish boys. And EU's best, right? Back to back here, two different perspectives, two totally different layers. Acorn and Barker Cold. Barker Paz still going. Again, I typed him up. Nine builds, though, for Paz. Barker down. What they play Come on, Paz. What you got, son? Come on. Well here. Meanwhile, you do, of course, have your other teams fighting for height, so... Excellent. Ooh, Paz kind of builds here, a bit of a box. He's got a good position here. Queasy Venno still on high ground. The least amount of elims we've seen so far, but it is a single one. So, so far, the three... We might... Oh, there's Muzz, my boy! Now we jump with Muzz and Paper. Get him, Muzz. Get him. Right now. Get him, Muzz. Could this be their game? Paper and Muzz. One Six elims. Let's go, Muzz. Surely... Come on. Six elims. This could be the game. All they need is one crazy game here, and that's it. They could qual. This could be a massive Go, Muzz. If they're able to seize it. Sitting on the low ground, though. Acorn and Cold. They can tell the power boys go down there. They know the M8's Next down as well. The gentle mates, Podesai, Snazy down. At a corner's disposal, Cold following closely behind. Cami and Seti, though. They seem to be making an idea. Oh, Cami and Seti! The backside oh, flank, the, the backside back flank, catch them off guard! Beam, Squeezy, and Venno, and Cami and Seti take the high ground. And they swing things around. Damn, Queasy's big, hurt. this is the game Cami and Seti needed, and Venno goes down. Things change so Huge quickly. game for Cami and Seti. And how Queasy's by himself. Payson. Payson goes down to the feet as well. Paper and Muzz. Seven eliminations. Paper five on paper. Let's go, son. To force their way the breaches are looking solid. Eight elims now. Probably the most that are alive at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's okay. Good game, though. Eighth place. Huge game. Mustache solo now. Mustache. Still up and kicking. Seti, though, with a massive... Oh, Seti doesn't even hold the high ground, though. Well, maybe that wasn't the play. Maybe... Oh, he's on the 9 tick. Acorn and Cold. Wait, this could be a dig win. This could be our first merch giveaway of the day, Chad. This could be the first bingo gold square. It's looking good. 2v2v1. They're going to take down Trulex and Chicho. And Acorn's doing an excellent job. Pressure with the breach of shotgun. Making sure no one's got a chance to break the with the big shots on low ground. This is the freest win. Oh, my God. Lock Hey, hello? Who is this kid? Bro, what? That's the freest win for Acorn and Cold ever. Dude, that Larpex kid is him. Dude, what a 1v2 on low ground. All right, chat. That is that is our first giveaway of the day. Okay, so for this one, chat, we're gonna combine it. We're gonna give we're gonna do the merge giveaway and we're gonna do V bug giveaways. We're gonna make the word dig chat. D I G our first dig win of the tournament. Acorn and Cole not only winning the game, they also stayed in Storm to hold V and Pink out to grief them because they're contesting them, and they still go on to win. We are here. This is game four about to get underway. And I want to give a huge shout out to Sant Kit. But let's go ahead and go to the battle oh, bus. Oh, no, the game Jacob, no, now. Jacob, no. It's fine, it's fine. We'll recover, we'll recover, we'll recover. Pen didn't happen. We'll recover, no, pen didn't happen. Keep the V-Bucks game going so we don't see the response to that. It's fine, keep going. 
Keep going, just fine. Keep what going. What I was going. gonna say is a shout out to Cami and Seti. They had a little bit of a rough start to start the day, right, we'll keep but the, they we'll have shown five more seconds chat, and then we'll call the vid. We'll keep call the vid and V-Buck in way. Inside of that top 25, and this being game four, right, we'll call this. I'll call that. Thank you for answering. I appreciate it. Don't worry, we're doing two more today. Teams to after the next two games, and we're gonna do five tomorrow and six the next day. Maybe even more actually. I don't know. A good matchup but thank for you. things to start picking up for them. Potosai, Snazy, starting to get some shots from the sky. But here at the racetrack, we've watched this for three games now. 2-1 in favor of Thomas and Malabuka. Ooh. Kanata trying to see what he can do. It's a double fire. Good stop for Kanata. Thomas, for the time he he's going to go down. Kanata and Agers looking like they could be. Bro, Kanata in a like lays here, on his Malibuka desk. It's crazy. On the oh no, it's a shotgun though. Wait, Malabuka win this. Sure Malabuka actually wins this. Malabuka wins this. I'm calling it right now. Game number four. Agers, Kanata so incredibly Ooh. low. But Never mind, they pushed him back. Now oh on my the god, they're the so bed, weak. Just barely keeping oh. the ball alive for Kanata oh. and Agers. He wins. Oh, this is going to be a great save. His chance to get his HP back and a down on a Kanata. He has no ammo. He has no ammo though. This could be a huge ammo. He could just find a way. Oh, he wins. Push up. Finish oh. this off, but it's one v two from Malabuka. Oh again. my god! Times where a tactical wow. DMR is going to look like the saving Jeez. grace here for Malabuka. Thomas as well with the immediate dap up onto his boy, and for good reason because this score. It's already being telegraphed. Three one now in favor of Thomas. Save Kanata. his chance to get his HP back and a down on a connect. For a tactical DMR. Oh. This off, but it's Malabuka who does it yet again. One of the few times where a tactical DMR is going to look like the saving grace here for Mal again. One of the few times where a tactical DMR is going. Even the fucking people hired by Epic know this weapon is dog shit. Position out of King and Phaser. This is exactly what you have to do, but the Rift does go off. They're no one to likes this gun, Epic. Try to have some you keep adding them. Even the casters know they're dog shit. Do too much. They have to no one's pretending they're good like... in order to stay alive. Oh my god. Right idea, one of the though. few times Sometimes the DMRs are saving grace. Oh yours. man. To make so happen. good. And for seven man, roller coaster of emotions. We're going up mountains. We're going across rivers. Anything can oh. happen here. And they get into the box. Duke's being forced back. A lot of damage is there. He's going to get knocked. It's all up to Edgy, and their run comes to an end in 34th place. That leaves their backs up against the wall in our fifth and final game. Yeah, Acorn and Cole do not care. It does not matter who it is. As long as you appear in front of them as a target, they will look to eliminate you. And they've been extraordinarily successful all day so far today. Alabuka and Thomas, though, they've also had a, a pretty solid day as well, Jacob. But again, this is definitely an instance where they could look. Fucking shit on Edge, that's what you get, bitch. Steve sends his regards. Well. <laughs> He's trying to get that oh, damage. Oh, no. Dude, that's Robot so goes down. God. But at least his teammate, Axe Force, is still alive, trying to grab them as many points that as possible. Brutal. But at least they're inside oh, or at no. the 10th place spot for now. <laughs> Probably got it secured, but you don't want to leave it up to a problem. You don't want to leave wow. it up to the judges. As you see another replay. Oh, Ooh, my, gosh. my gosh. King with his sniper, bro. King? Does he go back to back? There is no way. This man is on fire. I dare anybody on that stage he to just try get... to step in his path Ooh. now. Because he's looking like he an avalanche just, trying so to demolish so anything in his way. They Look left the window the open? Loadout, bro. Double suppressed sniper oh, my he's God. The sniper surplus augment to boost. Sniper surplus, holy shit! Of it, he's got double snipers. Kylie, I am so He's got two sorry, snipers. The king, actually, that that's his turn. Wow! You bag it. You back a dog into a corner. Wow! Is king exactly is disgusting is with a sniper. Happen. They realize oh the pressure God. that they're under. They realize what's at stake. Even though they do have tomorrow, if they fall short, that's not something anybody wants to stress about. You finish the job you here. Think you're the you king? get it done. He's you the give king. yourself a break, a chance sure. to relax sure. and VOD review. Laha, Mixon, another one of our teams that we've seen do great things throughout the year. 157 above the damage threshold, even though that might not seem like a lot. But from what we've seen like from the lobby, there's a lot of teams that are Ooh. around those similar numbers. But luckily for everybody, Ooh, for turns off for now. Nice. 
even though it was in a far rotation with the bounce yeah, pass junior, done. it's just step by step. That's the way a lot of teams yeah, got to take. This is qualify as a list. If you want to watch that clip, bro, it'll make it all well, make sense. Mixon, this is day one. one tarp in front of the other if you watch that clip, I guarantee you'll get the format. Ooh, Cammy Seti on the high ground. Look this is their call Cammy right here. Cammy and Seti do decent here. They're 100% the call. Very top of Eclipse's state, and, and this is some primo real estate. If you are Cammy and Seti. But it does seem as though they're going to have to disembark. That is Frankie, Aiden. Frankie is the girl doing the interviews with the curly hair. Not without laying some suppressive fire to everyone below them first. Yeah, She's a legendary CS caster kind of and interviewer. Side of what and Fortnite on. picked her up, I think, but last 19, year. 20, 21st this is place game four down, or five chat. Second last game of the day. Down. 26th place even down so if you're outside of that bubble for now this is your chance to shine this is your chance to pick up those points and you kind of saw that start of the day with queasy and vino i can only some play tomorrow what's that clip i put in chat bro it'll make sense elimination so anything is definitely possible Ruger threats is their game it's their game it's their game putting themselves to the it's test their game. Now. they have four eliminations and barely any place that points just to the f there's 24th place and 2014 still left alive so there's still so many possible points up for grabs but the best part it is threats and booga they're at least still together as yep. we enter this late game which is something we have not really had a chance to see from this duo come on, booga. All day come on today. threats it's been threats with the mk as well as is very as scary solo clutch circumstances are concerned You're chilling, right? I got you, bro. Really been able to bring anything to fruition because of that pink and vico though under a lot of pressure here from malabuka and thomas so many other teams surrounding them sometimes it can be really difficult to tell just which direction your builds are actually getting targeted from. Ooh. They survived nice. the off-spawn battle between Acorn and Cold. This is their chance to shine, even though they Nico don't have Pink much need to work this too. We've seen them do Ooh, amazing wow. things before. Oh, Teddy and Kelly Nico, on the moon. One of the more aggressively skilled <laughs> players. Base, and forget on top base, of the world when it comes to Fortnite. They're going astronomical. Oh my god, we are on the moon. We branched off the moon onto ground. the moon. They have the rocket ram for backup as well. You so would be so proud. to chop them down, they do have a plan B, Pink. Getting a couple more eliminations. Thomas Malabuka bypassing everybody else. They're trying to stay to the front side of the zone. Looking back only oh, when they have Oh, beautiful loadout for Thomas and Malabuka. Wow. On the prize for now. But I wonder if anybody realizes just oh, how Vico far solo. up the are. Vico, he needed a Damn, refresh and stand. Oh. He'll find himself waiting for game number five to begin. Oh, the rocket rams. Seti, Gammy. Who are they landing Seti on? Who are they landing right on? Who's the target? Who's the getting grief? Who comes crashing down on another oh. story to be decided because Yamzo and Rise, they're under fire right now. Yamzo's going to drop all the way to the water. Realizes, tries to escape, but not able to. Mixon and Blaha instead, the only ones seemingly able. Kota Sai goes down, Rise, Threats and Booga go down. So Threats and Booga having another rough game. Four solos. Acorn's running still around going though. Full of duos. Squeezy and Vino again. Baka Pars, These guys bro. Baka Pars are going to claw Wild Con. I'm so proud of them. Ground. They were my Dark Horse team here. coming Just into like this tournament, bro. They're so underrated. Get that victory royale. Another elimination being found by Malabuka. Their total Wait, team kill, does though. move up to five. Twelve teams remain. I'm so confused. These the kill feed might be full bugging right now. For. They started this game in 23rd place. This game alone, ah, if they come Thomas out on top, could qualify I think. them to championship Ooh. Sunday. But the fight continues. Bro, Acorn Cold and Acorn are trying no, to tear pass. everybody down, even if that means no, it's their Baka NA counterpart. But Acorn and Cold are disgusting right now. one thing that Cold loves to do. It's play Disruptor on the low ground layers. Oh, Seti and Cammy go back for Highgun. Who's he versing? They're actually going to be able to retake height because Queezy and Neno, here? they're no longer here at some Alex point. Alex and Worthy is three. Let's go, I see. I think Alex and Worthy are quote chat. I think they're 100% quote match. just with this game now. We're seeing... I think they just went below. down. Muzz Cammy is still going too. Just doing what they Let's can. Let's go, Muzz. Seventh place. That's two sevens for Muzz today. Rampage in these lower layers. Yep. Cammy gets another one onto Muzz, finding him as a solo. Another Boyle player's going to drop Sings with an and Boyle, in the comeback. who absolutely came out of nowhere on the NA region to claim their spot here in Major 2, but they don't want Ooh. just the spot. They want Seti's to take down. over. Thomas Thomas AC on the another Seti. elimination, taking Aye. down Seti. Now the high ground has changed, and they're trying Ooh, to keep Acorn it for themselves. Down. Acorn gets sniped out of the air with the sharp tooth, and now we're into our final four teams left alive, but two of them are solos. One of them is Cammy. He's trying to do what he can to try to bypass Ooh. with that men miss, falling down Boyle low. Boyle speaks 2v2. Down, NA, let's see it. Oh, big shot from But a down on the Thomas, and they take the game. Oh NA my God, let's go, baby. NA on top 12, Healing win. Comeback, though, 
from Pollo and That's so I think that's well for the bingo board, right? Given that they were in such a dire well, position win. Yep, that's five gets this dubs. match, that is a massive point swing here, Jacob. That might Holy. just be enough to even make them surface in our top 25. And they the leaderboard that we could What time is the deep 20 tonight? So yes, Sunday, chat, as a celebration of Copenhagen this weekend, I am running three $1,000 tournaments. So $3,000 prize pool total today, tomorrow, and the next day. It is going to be at 7 p.m. EST. So a little bit later tonight, I will be streaming the whole way through. Uh, we're going to be running build squads today. I'm going to be watching it. Then tomorrow, we're running trio no build. And the next day is squad no build. It's Victory Cup style. So all you got to do is find some friends, play a game. If you win, you make money. I just reached out to Dig because I wanted to put something on for like you guys who aren't playing in Copenhagen because there's not much happening this weekend. So then we played on NA. That's why I wanted to do two no builds. So if you guys play from EU or even OCE, like I've earned in these from OCE, so it's very doable on high pain. From their respective region, just outside the top 25. And I can count at the top of my head at least three of these off-spawn battles that would decide if a team goes towards the lower bracket or at least gives themselves Chad, a this is the chance the 20 if you want to, go play. to get to that top 25. That to should earn say today, that championship though. Sunday that spot today. themselves. Today and this is going to be one of them. Malibuka and Thomas, Angels of Ganada. And judging by their elevation, it is on. It's looking like Agers might have the beat on the punch, though. Agers and Kanata quicker Ooh. as far as the drop is concerned. Opening of the chest, but Ages, it's a tight Kanata got the drop advantage, I think. Oh, it's a DMR. With, no. Trying to break Thomas's initial build. Agers going to follow it up with the main and auto. Nice. That will be Thomas Ages down for the count. The One knock already. Agers taking full advantage of the siphon as well. And Beautiful siphon. another benefit is oh, the weapons that came now with it. Oh, yeah, Malibuka came to slope truck and runs. Full load out minus the heels, and you see Malibuka now on the run. Grabs Aegis cannot go win this game to Qual, chat. Now he has decisions to make. Aegis cannot yeah, need to win this game to Qual. While I have the Actually, underhand. just thinking about this, if you are a Clicks fan, this is massive. If Aegis cannot can win this game in Qual, that means Uncon racetrack. That might legitimately become Clicks' drop. Because currently, as far as I'm aware, the three teams going Mega City are all uncontested. None of them have quelled, I don't think. So unless here, Clicks wants to quadruple Con Mega City along with some time before Zazzy and Aim, so Quintuple contesting out. Mega City. He wants to get Thomas's reboot card. This will be all Savage, he true. Savage and Vadil also love going racetrack. You're right, that's waiting. massive. If Kanata can qualify here, racetrack is up for grabs. That's gonna be Batman Boog is currently in 24. Oh, so he's just inside top 25. Yeah, you see, Red's taking advantage of what did you see a triple chest on oh the side God. of that mountain mixing goes down that's not only oh group a flicks three and nine. Oh yeah of course they are sorry my bad sorry so two teams looking like they might not qualify out of mega city sorry grip a is through should have trusted the germans never doubt the germans especially mega city king and phaser cow gamer seven man shots are being fired phaser is going to quickly disengage he doesn't want to give up too much is that a beam in the sky that will be a beam in the sky for the bingo board you're right get to him that'll allow him to heal and that's why i've gifted diagonally across the center he can't charge into it just yet unless they stayed towards the top of leaderboard. What time does tomorrow do start? Same time as today, bro. 4 p.m. CST, 10 a.m. ET. Exact same that, time as like today. Cooper and Miro, who are almost not even duoing this season. It was left to a coin flip of all things. And what a coin flip it was. I hope Cooper kept that bro, coin. They got to do this. It on a wall. <laughs> they got to do this, bro. Big, but I guess it maybe depends flip on how down. this weekend goes possibly for the duo. Regardless, they've done well, an coin excellent flip. job as a team. Uh, so Mero, he's never said still, who he was choosing between, but Mero was choosing between bit, two people to play with after he came Cooper back from retirement and flipped a, a coin. Really nice here. And, this and is Cooper a won the coin flip. Well. Oh my god. Shut down onto cold wow. essentially. And that is huge for Cooper and wow. Mero because they have had some problems. And then they came second that FNCS after the coin flip. Guaranteed one onto this is the fifth and final game chat. Top 25 qualifiers. So all these teams are focusing right now. Like M. Shari's in 25th, Cooper Mero in 28th, Uga's in 35th. Teammate, and then find yourself Ages and Kanata are in. deep enough into a late game lobby to potentially catapult yourself into what? the top 25 the leaderboards the for fuck? today. Yeah, just moments ago. Am I blind? Booga taking down Mappy. They're just trying to 39. continue to control their own destiny as well. Teeny taking down Fast Roki. A lot of these teams outside. All of these the teams can call with one good game, but it needs to be a go good down game. To ping, so that's another team eliminated out of this lobby. King and Phaser, though, they're still in it, and they're here to win it overall. You see the loot getting passed around. 
they have quite some distance to cover and a lot of players to run through if they want to make it there. On the bright side, they're not the only ones that have a decent amount of map coverage to go. Granted, when you are one of those last teams to come in behind everybody else, your primary concern is going to be, well, depending on where those other teams are situated, depending on where they're positioned, they might be able to cut me off entirely. And that's exactly what King and Phaser are trying to avoid. They're trying to make their way to zone as quickly as possible oh, so that Muzz, they can come be the on, Muzz can call here, baby. Come on, Muzz. The way that the lobby actually flows. Yeah, Rex, yeah, Nick, thanks for some, guys. Out. They want to do the holding. They're rotating parallel to both Muzz and Paper, a team that. I don't get why you don't get top, top 25. 25. Go watch that clip, bro. Right? They're as safe as can be. Anything could still happen. But Phaser's doing a good job of leading the charge. Oh, yeah, Found Muzz already called, I think, right? I think Muzz is safe. I think Muzz is chilling. He got two top sevens. By a couple players in this lobby. Alex Worthy being one of them on the other side. As he continues to peek through the cone. 81 below Taco. This isn't looking good for now. They might not have the damage. He's 117 points. Yet, oh, he's chilling. They do he have lads. a few crash pads. Phaser so points don't carry over tomorrow, chat. Tomorrow is a completely the separate tournament. A little bit further, a little bit more up on that height as well. But the oh, shots oh. come through all the way across the lobby. Well, it would that's gonna be looks like Phaser and King are playing tomorrow. Onto Phaser King now under heavy duress, trying to do what he can, forced to fill down, forced to drop numerous layers. Damn. But whoa, yeah, that's a slab juice. juice. Holy chug jug. To just barely prevent himself from being eliminated by the damage threshold <laughs> tags off of the storm surge. But still, it is tough One of my stuff favorite right bugs, bro. Yeah, yeah, the big pot's better because they like two handed Storm like... surge. They're below the threshold. Oh no, it's the one hand with the Even big pot as well, isn't it? They're taking a lot of damage, but Rise Yamzo. Team who took oh, down no. Kanata Ages. Well, it looks like we're going to be watching Kanata Ages Kanata again tomorrow, chat. If he can go back to his OG self, we used to call him one of the more prolific solo players in the game. He's got Being six builds, Jacob. I don't know about points, that. A huge amount of clutches. We saw Aegis do it we'll see. in their major championship run. Now it's Kanata's turn to pick up the pace. You see him going low. He doesn't have a lot of builds, not a lot of oh, resources. Oh, shotgun. Really we'll take that. Oh, my gosh. The damage threshold nice. When it comes to Storm Surge. A nice little gift, though. Just on the ground. Managed to pick up some materials. It's going to provide him more than the four builds he had initially to work with. Shot him up to 30. But still, Kanata also now with this... Right, nice so 44 toe. players alive. This is stacked. Breaking through the floors of some of these builds and just hoping that there is not a full team on the other side of it because you're looking at a 1v1 with not a decent chance, but two oh. versus one situations is tough for any So wait, so wait. Am I just now realizing there there's any team that goes the into the right vault now, now gets stuck with the, the audio the entire game in replays? And there is inside of the top 25. And place your points haven't even begun to kick in yet. That puts a lot of like Obviously, they the can't game. hear it in-game, but it looks Storm like it replay is just bugged and is always the playing juice. the music. He has a couple minis, but he's still 123 below. He's not even peeking out, going for shots. Tammy said he had it happen to them, and they didn't go vault. Oh, okay, I guess not then. I don't know. I got no clue then. I guess I shouldn't try and think about it logically, right? It's a Fortnite bug. It's probably just Completely random. There's a med mist as well. He found a treasure trove and a miracle to keep himself alive. But he knows he needs to go. He knows he needs to continue. Come on, King. What do we got, son? Come on. You don't want to fall Vamos. behind, but a nice shot from the backside. King forced to stabilize himself, stop the rotation. So that means a lot of teams oh, no. are going to be able to hop over oh, and get the no. zone first. Come on, Kuba right with the clutch. Kuba threats with the clutch. Come on, boys. Kanata with the clutch. Come on. Team, some other solo gets eliminated first, and that could oh. potentially put him. To where he actually isn't below that search threshold, but Kanata right now just barely clinging on, but it won't be enough. Finally finds himself eliminated from the lobby. Unfortunate run there for Kanata and Ages in our final game of the day. Yeah, at least he got this experience of playing on the big stage because he's gonna have to Dude, go. There's again no way Kanata getting exposed this hard, bro. Chance Online, teams. absolute Zaxxis. demon. Inland, not even see, looking in the right direction, down. bro. They Honestly, I think I think it says everything we need to know. That's the only explanation. That ladder, just like Booga and Threats, you talked about it yourself. You even casted it throughout the day. They have yet to play definitely no other explanation here. As a duo, this is their chance. But the solo is trying to push back both Alex and Worthy as well. A lot of damage being done here by Storm Surge. Not even these players. We're seeing so many teams though. Struggling. Oh, Storm Muzz Surge. takes down Cooper. No, Threads my boy's going head to head. Muzz doesn't alone. need it, but Cooper does. No. Come on, Mero. Mero with the solo clutch. Come on. Tarp through some of these Come on, layers and 
Come right on, Mero. Come on, Mero. Mero. Come on, Mero. Force into a solo position. Won't have any sort of time to He's in 28th chat. He doesn't need a crazy game. Just a decent game. Come on, Mero. Don't go down. He's only got splashes for shield. He's got white heels. He can play, though, but... Come on, let's see it. Mero, the solo clutch god. Come on. One of the best to ever do it. Undoubtedly, Mero. he's just playing the heels. I, find an the I think he's just playing the heels. From the side, though, wow. clean shot onto seven man, and a quick build up to utilize his med kit. Mero goes Smooth. down. That Reactive might be enough, though. That might be enough. Top 15 might be enough points here. Needed from them. They could boost themselves. Through the threads, through the threads with the clutch. Five elims, go boys, go! Oh my god, they're doing it. Trying to recycle some of They're doing it. They know they don't got much left. A refresh or a side Come on, Booga. Come on, Booga. Last game chat. Last chance to qualify. Booga and threads. I don't know what's happening today, but they need this. Can they get that elimination? Oh, Worthy to get on the OC the boys. They take down Worthy now. They've already called though, so it's fine. Who gets a double elimination? I think Booga's gonna go down a zone. Booga goes down a zone. It's all up to threats. Barely there. No, Booga actually gonna find himself trapped just outside. He won't be able to make it it's in. All up to time. threats. And the knock from that. Oh no. He's so far so away. Tough. Threats the waited so long. Oh, he's got the glider to play Augments. Nice threats. Let's go. I was wondering what he was doing. He has soaring sprints, roaming redeploy. That's huge. Needs to find He's soaring his way to qualification, point. baby. Let's go! 100% necessary, but these points that he's grabbing here, staying alive, seven eliminations as well. This could nice. be enough. Nice, top four. I think he's, he's done it. I think that's enough. I think they did myself. it. That should be he's enough. He's continuing to bypass everybody. Good stuff. But on the high ground, it's Yamzo and Rise that are trying to take this last and final game of the day. A few teams actually that are stuck down low still need this shot to try to qualify. Chicho and Trulex. One of them. Trulex and Chicho, they probably already got Ooh, their spot. Threats is going crazy, bro. Again. Six Elims, seven Elims. Nine Elims, 1v2, but threats. 1v2 against Rise and Yomzo. Do a threat. Do it to him. Do it to him. He's definitely dead. He's so dead. Let's go, threats. Good stuff, bro. Let's go. We in it, baby. We in it. It is not going to be a land final without Booga. Booga.